Nation. It is Jet Thompson, and he is currently tied for third place with 15 points. Now, Jet, you've had the Aoki lock, you've had the arm lock in under a minute, and you also had a rear naked choke with the arm in, a Ritolatine, if you will. So of those three, which one is your favorite? Uh, my favorite is probably the Aoki lock. Uh, it's because it was against Drunk Holmes. That was probably my first uh, win against like an elite level black belt that's been on the scene for a while. You were very uh, feisty with PJ Barge with the hand to the mouth, and then you give a smile after. So what is the strategy with that? I, I just really like using that to defend a pass because it's really hard to uh, pass when you only have one arm. And when you're put, covering that mouth, you have, you're forced to take one of your arms to rip it off. So uh, that that's why I like using it. It's because you you have to like let go of something to pull the hand off your mouth, and it's really hard to pass with one arm. I love that strategy. It is definitely very entertaining to watch. Now you're only 17 years old. You told me off camera that this is the first time you ever experienced a tournament like this. So what are your thoughts? We're halfway through. You're in third place. So how are you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling great right now. I mean, there's not a lot of tournaments that are doing what PGF is doing. Brandon McCatherine is doing a great job. But uh, yeah, it's a really cool format just to be able to go and compete over like a week and having like like a ton of matches, like even like brackets like ACC trials, you don't have 12 matches. But uh, yeah, it's really fun just to be out here. And I really like the format, just the submission only. And it, I feel that's really good for me. And it gives me an edge over these really high level competitors like PJ Bartz and Andy Barilla. How confident are you that you're going to make it to the playoffs? I'm very confident. I'm, I'm definitely going to be in the playoffs. We cannot wait to see it. Jet, congratulations on everything so far. TJ, we'll send it back to you. So much, Alex. We appreciate Thank you, you catching up with the 17-year-old Jet Thompson. You know, I'm thinking about it. He said that he's never really done a tournament like this. I, I don't care if you're 17 years old or if you've been doing jujitsu for 17 years. Not a lot of tournaments like this. There are none. This is not even a tournament. Right. This is a it's league. True. It's true. It's a season. Uh, yeah. The exactly. tournament comes on Friday, and you got to earn your way to get there. That's right. So, you, you know, you have that four days of the regular season. Then if the top eight make that finale tournament, that, that the playoffs. Yeah, and, you know, uh, Thompson obviously feeling good about his uh, opportunity in getting into that tournament. And, uh, again, you know, the question is, is, is this a Cinderella story, or is this exactly what Jet Thompson should be doing? Should we expect this? you know, more and more from him each time we see him because he hasn't really looked outmatched in any of his matches thus far. He's been as exciting as you could ever want a competitor to be, and you have to know he is already a fan favorite, and with his age, he could be a PGF star for the next 10 years, but something I'm really excited about in this next block is... Hey, 10 years from now, he's going to be 27. He could be a PGF star for the next 20 years. Fair enough. Just want to throw that out there. It's true. Yeah, yeah, I, I got good. finished with what 